the Topping E30 L30 combo, the IFI Zencan signature stack, which has more power, which one's more neutral, which has less total harmonic distortion, which is right for you. All these answers and more coming up. Greetings comrades, Stuart Childs here at HomestudioBasics.com helping you make sound decisions leading to a beautiful audio experience that will make you fall in love with music all over again. So, before we get started, all links to these products as well as any articles related will be down below in the description box. Check out my gear recommendations as well for most of my top picks all in one place. If you do decide to purchase through one of my Drop or Amazon links, I will receive a small commission depending on where you live. Purchasing through my links is a great way to thank me for helping you make a sound decision. Now let's have a gander at the topping E30 L30 stack and find out how it stacks up against IFI Zencan's Signature 6XX stack. We'll start with build. IFI products have always been incredibly rock solid and the Zencan Signature is no different. Both the DAC and AMP are made of a rugged aluminum chassis that feels extremely weighty in your hand. Both the topping L30 and E30 bear a similar sentiment. The L30 actually feels a tad heavier than the Zen Can amp, which was a bit surprising to me. The E30 DAC portion is a bit lighter, but still feels very durable in your hands. Volume potentiometers on both feel roughly the same. Neither feel cheap and are nice to turn. The Zen Can turns a little bit more free flowing, but it's more of an observation than anything. I think its knob is more elegant looking. It's also a bit larger. The back panel on the topping E30 DAC reveals a pair of RCA outs a coaxial output, an optical output, and a USB type B port. There's also a DC 5 volt jack for your outlet. Topping supplies a cable, but you'll need one of those USB bricks to plug into. For me this was a bit of a disappointment as I only have one for my phone. I'd rather just have a regular brick, but most people will have at least a few of these adapter bricks on hand. The back panel of the L30 amp contains a set of RCA inputs and outputs. Like the Zencan amp, you can use the L30 as a preamp into some separate speakers. It also has a 15 volt AC jack and comes with another gigantic brick. This thing is about as heavy as the one Marv throws at Kevin in Home Alone. Suck brick, kid! If your house ever gets broken into, just use this brick. The Zen Can Amp has a balanced 4.4 millimeter input, a 3.5 millimeter single ended input, a pair of RCA inputs, a balanced 4.4 millimeter output, and a DC 5 volt jack. The DAC portion has a balanced 4.4 millimeter output, a pair of RCA outputs, a USB Type B jack, and a DC 5 volt jack. The Zen Combo affords you the option of using either 3.5mm to RCA, as I'm using now, or RCA to RCA for the connection between the two. With the topping stack, you'll be using RCA to RCA exclusively. The topping doesn't have any balanced inputs or outputs, but the Zen Can doesn't have the optical or coaxial connections. The topping is also better for all you lazy catch potatoes that haven't moved in decades. Because the E30 comes with a remote, you don't even have to get up from your couch if you want to adjust the volume. This is a huge selling point for me specifically. I set the volume of the amp first and then adjust the volume of the DAC with the remote based on what film I'm watching or what game I'm playing. It's the ultimate sedentary slob fest. You won't even have to clean Cheetos off your grubby paws. Just set it and forget it. But wait! There's more! If you buy within the next 30 minutes, we'll provide a 10 pack of assorted Doritos and a 12 pack of Mountain Dew and no extra charge to you. Just pay shipping and handling. Buy now! The front panel has big, bold, alarm clock looking numbers that adjust based on what file you're playing. The E30 supports up to 32-bit 768K and DSD 512. Both support Tidal MQA. Inside Tidal, just go to File, Settings, Streaming, and scroll down to Sound and Sound Output. Right next to Sound Output in parentheses, it will say More Settings. Click that. Just tick the button to Exclusive Mode and Tidal will have control of the DAC. Now when you play a master file or album, you'll notice the E30's interface will switch to 96K. For the Zen, the halo ring light around the DAC's potentiometer will turn magenta. With the E30, you can cycle through your connections with the remote, or just tap the power slash select button on the right hand side. Let's be honest though, who's actually going to get up? The L30 amp has two switches towards the left. One is used for the preamp, headphone amp, and off functions, and the other is your gain. This thing has plenty of power with a plus 9 dB boost, so don't fret. I'm only at about 1 o'clock on the 0 dB no gain setting. The Zen Can is also very powerful with a 6 dB, 12 dB, and 18 dB boost. 
Instead of a switch, the Zencan utilizes buttons, but also has a 3D feature and X-Space buttons. Press once for X-Space, twice for 3D, and a third time for both. A fourth time shuts them all off. Do keep in mind that I've been demoing the Zencan Signature 6XX version. Instead of X-Space, the button says HD6XX. Yeah, that's a rant for another time. For most people, I just recommend the regular Zencan as it's much more sensibly priced. If you're interested in an in-depth look at the Zencan 6XX signature stack and how it compares to the original iFi Zen amp dat combo, click the link card above. Yeah, I know it's a mouthful. I also have a link down below as well as links where you can purchase these. If you plan to run balance or need some extra musical enhancements, the Zencan stack may be the way to go. If you plan on never leaving your couch ever again, go with the L30E30 combo stack. Just make sure to throw some extra toppings on that bitch. Guys, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. You better come out and stop me. But how do these sound in relation to one another though? Glad you asked, Tommy. Though the L30 technically has more power on paper, with no gain on both, I'm between 10 and 11 o'clock on the Zen and between 1 and 2 on the L30 for roughly the same volume. These are both comfortably loud volumes if that makes sense. Not too quiet, not too loud. The L30 boasts a really impressive 3500 milliwatts into 16 ohm, 2300 milliwatts into 32 ohm, and 280 milliwatts into 300 ohm. By contrast, the Zencan signature provides 1000 milliwatts at 16 ohm, 1600 milliwatts at 32 ohm, 196 milliwatts at 300 ohm, and 98 milliwatts at 600 ohm. In other words, don't worry about it. I thought it might have just been my imagination, but early on I noticed that the E30 slash L30 combo sounded a bit more open and airy versus a slightly warmer sounding Zencan signature stack. To ensure that my impressions were accurate, I painstakingly calibrated the volume level on each to make sure that they were exactly the same. Keep in mind this is before looking at any specs of any kind. When I noticed it again it kind of hit me. For a while I wasn't really hearing much of a difference, but every so often it would come up again. I couldn't pinpoint exactly what the discrepancy was, but it's becoming more apparent now as the songs on the playlist start to pile up. The Zencan signature stack is a little bit on the warmer side. It's not a huge difference, but it is there. The presentation of the E30 slash L30 combo reminds me a lot of the Dragonfly Red. It's like opening your window and letting a cool breeze in. The Zencan is a little bit more laid back, but still very detailed and clear. It's a kick back and relax type of homie. Speaking of homies, check out my sick ass t-shirt design I made especially for kickback and relax talk for homies just like you. I'll put a link down below so you can cop it. I know you're gonna love it. Now you can show everyone how chill you are. The sound of the Zencan signature portrays the music a little bit more boxed in while the E30 L30 combo opens things up a little more. It sounds slightly more expansive and grand. In short, the topping stack is cleaner with somewhat less noticeable distortion. Now, I don't find the Zen can distorted. I'm just saying that on paper, the sound contrast that I heard before reading any specs makes sense in context. The L30 boasts a less than minuscule 0.00006% total harmonic distortion, while the Zen can is showing less than 0.005%. In the case of A being both of these back and forth, yes, there is a difference. But like I always say, you're never going to notice or care without both right there at your disposal. Can I honestly say I would be able to tell which is which in a blind test? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I'm blind! Oh shit, I'm blind! Man. I'm leaning towards yes this time around only because I heard the discrepancy first without having to refer to any specs. Still, it may take a while for you to hear it. Further, some people may enjoy that little bit of extra distortion. Ever heard of a tube amp? If you weren't aware, there's a reason people buy them. It's because they sound good. So no, distortion is not a bad word. Anyways, what's my final word here? If you need some extra enhancements, balance capability, and a bit of a warmer, gooier, more laid back presentation, the Zencan signature is what you're after. If you desire a more neutral presentation, perhaps the most neutral that I've ever personally heard, and more power for the most demanding of headphones, the E30 L30 combo is the solution. At less than 0.1 output impedance, it's going to sound crystal clear, detailed, and true to the source. Is that clear, Mr. Bender? Crystal. Well, that's about it for today, my friend. Leave me some love in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content like this. And turn on bell notifications while you're at it, yeah? If you really like what I do here and you want to support the channel in a more personal way, hit that Patreon link down below and check out all the value I have to offer you.
And last but not least, don't forget to ask me about my grandchildren. Don't feed the troll. And most importantly, don't ever give up. Review brought to you by Stu Here's the coda I'm nasty on the mic Call me warm soda Chopped up this beat real fine Like cold produce Steady in my veggies So I can focus On my David Copperfield Y'all hocus pocus A little loopy when I wrote this Esoteric dopeness Cultivating the will of a soldier Fighting through the pain like Dooku I told ya Sold you on my style Snapping on cats like private pile I get semi wild Every once in a while 911 on the dial Alone at the top with no rival Dark is my world without a bible Without God's love there's no survival So my mindset is tribal Yeah, My mindset is tribal yeah, yeah, My mindset is tribal